Welcome to Infigyan friends. Today in this video, we have one very very interesting question from AIME 2025. Here we have to find the sum of positive integers n such that 3 times n plus 3 times n square plus 9 over n plus 2 is an integer. n is positive integer. We have to find sum of all possible positive integers n. So let's get started our solution part by splitting n plus 3. So we can write 3 times n plus 3 can be written as n plus 2 plus 1. Then we have n square plus 9 over n plus 2 is an integer. Now we will split n plus 2 with n square plus 9 plus 1 times n square plus 9. So let's expand or multiply these two terms 3 times n plus 2 times n square plus 9 over n plus 2 plus 3 times 1 times n square plus 9 over n plus 2 is an integer. Now we will cancel n plus 2 from numerator and denominator. So we can write 3 times n square plus 9 plus 3 times n square plus 9 over n plus 2 is an integer. Now n is positive integer. So this term is always integer. So we can write 3 times n square plus 9 over n plus 2 must be integer. We will write so 3 times n square plus 9 over n plus 2 must be integer. Now I can write 3 as it is. Then we will be writing n square plus 9 as n square and 9 can be written as minus 4 plus 13. So 13 minus 4 is 9 over n plus 2. This must be an integer. Now n square minus 4. We will write 3 times n square minus 2 square. Then we have plus 13 divided by n plus 2. Must be an integer. Now we know the formula of difference of two squares. a square minus b square. This is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So we are going to use this formula. We can write 3 times n bracket n plus 2 times n minus 2 plus 13 over n plus 2 should be integer. Now we will split our numerator once again. We will write 3 times n plus 2 times n minus 2 over n plus 2. Then we have 3 times 13. So we will write 3 times 13 over n plus 2 must be an integer. Now we can cancel n plus 2 from numerator and denominator here. So it will be left with 3 times n minus 2 plus 39 over n plus 2. This must be integer. So if we will plug in n equal to positive number, positive integer, then we are going to get this term always integer. So now constraint is how we can find the values of n so that this rational term 
39 over n plus 2 should be an integer. So if I will write factors of factors of 39, then I can say 1, 3, 13 and 39 positive factors of 39. Now 39 must be divisible by n plus 2. So we will write n plus 2. This should be equal to either 1 or 3 or 13 or 39. Then it would be divisible. So from here n would be equal to 1 minus 2, 3 minus 2, 13 minus 2, and 39 minus 2. So I can say n will become negative 1, 1, 11, 37. But condition on n was n should be positive integer. So we can reject this minus 1. So we have n equal to 1 n equal to 11 and n equal to 37. So I will write here n equal to 1, n equal to 11, n equal to 37. So sum of all positive integers n, sum of positive integers, positive integers n this will be equal to 1 plus 11 plus 37. So we will get our answer 49. So our correct answer is 49. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck. Take care. Bye bye.